Hey guys, welcome to Game Back, bringing you another video for our favorite weapon series, and today we're going to cover the gun that I think is the hands down the best weapon to use in Warzone Battle Royale, and that is the Stoner Rifle 25 the, or the Knight's Armament SR25. So I did do a weapon conversion video on this, which I'll link down below. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to build this, then jump into some gameplay for Warzone and show you why this thing is an absolute beast, and you should be using this over a sniper rifle. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now I back out, you can see our final design here for the SR25. And again, I'll link the video down below to build this with a conversion series if you want more information on the actual SR25 itself. One thing to note, this is obviously is more of a cosmetic change and we're replicating this because we don't have 762 by 51 millimeter rounds. We only have the 458 SOCOM which we'll be using on this. So first off, let me go ahead and strip this down. We're gonna start at base with just a standard M4A1. And you can see here, if I just take the camo off of this, we'll go to black. Now I'm gonna use our task force blueprint, which I'll link the video below for this one as well. This launched this week with the UDT bundle for the Modern Warfare 2 pack. So first off, you can build this with any M4. So we're gonna start off with the specs to build this for Warzone specifically. If you want more information on how to build this uh, differently, you can go ahead and check out the weapon conversion video as well. So first off, we're gonna start with the muzzle. We're gonna want a monolithic suppressor. This is gonna assist with the sound suppression as well as damage at range, which you definitely want in Warzone. You wanna maximize damage at range with any weapon. The cons here being the ADS speed and the aim walking steadiness. But again, we're using this as a DMR, a designated marksman rifle, so we're not too concerned with the slow mobility for the most part. Now the barrel, we want that Corpus Custom Marksman barrel. This is going to give us that 19-inch M16A4 style barrel on the weapon. This is going to assist with the pros being damage at range as well as bullet velocity and recoil control. And the cons being aimed on sight speed as well as movement speed. Now in real life, the barrel length for the SR25 is 610 millimeters or 24 inches. Now we don't have that option. The next best you can do is the heavy duty granulier stock. But again, you're going to get the same pros and cons with this. And I just don't like the cosmetically how this looks. So we're going to go with the Corpus Custom Marksman Barrel for the M16A4 to replicate the SR25. We'll go ahead and select that. Now I'll skip out on the laser. On the optic key attachment here you want is going to be the variable zoom over the sniper scope. You can see here we have variable zoom. We have a 3 and a 6.1 times toggle on this. Whereas a sniper scope, you're only getting a 4.4. So that's like a healthy medium between the three and the six. But again, we want to be able to engage at multiple different ranges being the three and the 6.1. So the variable zoom is going to assist with a zoom level. Obviously, you can toggle between the two for the magnification level between three and 6.1. And the cons being the ADS speed, which we are going to accept because we're using this as a DMR. So we're going to put that on. Now for this particular build in the conversion video that I'll link below, you Typically we want the M16 stock for cosmetics, but for the, how we're building this in Warzone, we're gonna use different attachments on this just to maximize how it performs in Warzone. So we're gonna skip out on the stock, use the base stock on this particular build. We're gonna skip the perk as well as the rear grip. Now the ammunition is key. We're gonna want the 458 SOCOM 10 round magazine. This is gonna assist with the pros being damage at range and the, as well as, so damage and range, and the cons being rate of fire recoil control as well as magazine ammo capacity. So we're going from 30 with a standard 5.56 round down to 10 for the 458 SOCOMs. Obviously we're gonna have greater recoil because the heavier round and the fire rate is gonna go down from the standard M4. But this thing hits like a truck and you're gonna down people very quick as you'll see in the gameplay when we jump into it. So we'll go ahead and select the 458 SOCOM. Now obviously like I said in real life, the SR25 is 762, but we don't have that option so we're gonna go with the SOCOM rounds. Now the underbarrel on this, we're gonna want the, typically this is more so personal preference. I use the commando foregrip just because we get recoil stabilization as well as aiming stability, the cons being the movement speed. You can go ahead and throw something like a Merc, a bipod if you're gonna be engaging in prone and crouch a lot, or something like a ranger foregrip if, if you wanna get better recoil control, but I don't wanna take any more ADS hits to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the commando foregrip again, recoil stabilization as well as aiming stability, the con being movement speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. The pros here though is with the commando foregrip as well as the tactical foregrip, you don't take any negation for your ADS speed, which is good. So we'll go ahead and select that. And now this is our final design for the Knight's Armament SR25. Obviously we're using 458 SOCOM rounds on this particular weapon. And you see here typically with the task force blueprint, we have the different color lower receiver and uh, as well I'll link that video down below but for this I like it to put a camouflage on there and go ahead and go with what I had which was the angels camo for the splinter and you can see I just like the cosmetically how that looks but this is our final design for the Knight's Armament SR25 you can build this again out of any 
M4, you don't need any particular blueprint to use this particular build. You can see here, this is the final design of the weapon. Now, really quick, before we jump into the gameplay, I am running this on sling. I have my low visibility assault weapon or the M SIG MCX. This is a different variant of the MCX. LVAW, or the low visibility assault weapon, also known as the Black Mamba. So I'll go ahead and link that video down below. Also, this is what I'm using. You'll see me swap to this a little bit in the gameplay. But again, jumping into the gameplay now, we have the SR-25, Knight's Armament SR-25. And you'll see in the gameplay here, I'll show some different clips. And this thing hits so hard. It's typically going to be about three shots to kill, depending on the range for this. And it chews through armor. And the good thing is, I like this over sniper rifles just because you can get shots down range very fast. You can pepper shots at enemies when they're running versus having to rely on a bolt action sniper rifle or even something that's slow firing like the dragon off where you have to rechamber around with the bolt action or even the slower rate of firing between shots with the dragon off be able to tap fire this very quickly if you just select fire to single fire you'll see me do here you can tap fire very very quickly and down people very fast especially at ranges with that toggle from the three to the 6.1 zoom magnification level so you see the different gameplays here i run this obviously on sling with my typically an m13 build like i have down below in the description i'll link the video for the lb aw or the black mamba is really what i've been mainly running with this some variation of the m13 is typically what i use and then i use this as my designated marksman rifle in place of a sniper rifle and you'll notice one thing uh that i don't have a any i don't have a thermal scope on this weapon just because a lot of people run cold-blooded plus with this particular build you don't have the dual powered thermal option on assault rifles only on sniper rifles so we wouldn't get a good magnification level the typical average thermal sight on an assault weapon is only going to be 3.25 times magnification so we want to be able to zoom from the 3 to the 6.1 also with the monolithic suppressor in the addition with the corvus custom marksman barrel we're going to be maximizing damage at range for this rifle and with those 458 socom rounds they do the highest damage per second in the game so utilizing those 10 round most efficiently as you can is definitely key but again 10 rounds more than enough to down two people i've down two people easily with a magazine and you can break the armor in a third if you're making all your shots count and also depending on the range but you'll see me use this in a couple of different gameplays won a lot of games having this on sling just peppering fire at enemies it's very very accurate especially at distance you can engage same distances as a sniper rifle obviously it's just not going to be a one-shot kill to the head at those types of ranges but the one thing that i really like about this is when the enemies are moving you can get shots on them very quickly and they're just taking constant oh, fire so chewing the through their armor plates so even if they're replacing plates you're busting all those plates very quickly it's just that, definitely a nuisance to be here. getting shot at by this and you're able to down people very very quick so typically down. at least two of us in the squad run this usually our third guy will typically run a regular sniper rifle or he'll pick this one up as well and just being able to effectively put shots down range and bother the enemy with this and it drops it very very quickly you'll see in the gameplay here especially one down. One down. there was one play one time here in the gameplay you'll see me i went on the broadcast tower there right by tv right station and it had a height advantage on everybody and for some reason no one saw me up there i don't know how even with the scope lens, i'm very careful about the oh, scope glint that you do get with the variable zoom just don't ads too long that with that down. sight yeah, otherwise you give away the scope glint. but again being up at that range that height with the at that radio tower i'm able to get shots down you'll see me here i think i ended up having like six or eight plus kills somewhere on this tower and it was crazy just the the oversight that i had having this weapon and being able to get shots on target very quickly there people were dropping very fast versus a sniper rifle like i said you typically have to rechamber around if someone's going for cover uh you may not be able to get that second shot off in time and you have the chances that you're going to miss some shots so with this you can afford to miss a couple and again 10 round magazine you can reload pretty quick and you're able to get shots down range very fast and down the enemy so let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon have you tried something like this in Warzone, I know Exclusive Ace did an initial video when Warzone came out. Basically, he was going for the best damage per second weapons, and he said the AUG was the second best compared to the 458 SOCOMs because that wasn't really feasible to use in Warzone. And I've been using this ever since, I think, just a little bit after week one of the game coming out for Warzone. And I fell in love with it right away instead of using a sniper rifle. This is my go-to for anything to engage at range. And again, this does do the highest damage per second 
in a game if you do use it correctly. And it does need to be used as a DMR, not as a close quarters weapon or anything like that, which I believe Exclusive Ace was probably referred to as it's not feasible with a 10 round magazine if you're going to be in close quarters fights, especially against full squads. Um, obviously, you don't want to be engaged in at those type of ranges, but to use it as a designated marksman rifle like we're doing here with our by converting it to a Knight's Arm SR-25 minus a 7.62, replacing it with a 4.58 SOCOM rounds. Uh, it, we're, we're using it exactly how it's intended to be used, and it drops people very, very quickly. And you also have the option, if you really, really wanted to, to keep it on full auto if you were in a tight spot so you didn't have a good secondary. Uh, this is obviously just going to chew through people and down them right away at close range as well on full auto. So if you get in a desperate situation, you always have that option as well but again let me know down below what you think i've won quite a few games using this weapon as well as my m13 you'll see a couple of the gameplay here uh definitely a lot of fun to use this gun but let me know down below what you think this is our sr25 i'm going to link the conversion video like i said as well as some of the other videos that are relevant to this being the task force blueprint for the m4 carbine that was released this week with the udt bundle as well as some of the m13 videos specifically what i'm using here with the low visibility assault weapon of the black mamba that i'm replicating and these two weapons in general are my two favorite weapons to bring into the war zone. And typically I'll have different class setups with Ghost so I can swap out with my overkill class. And then I'll have Ghost on with the end couple circles coming in so no one can really tell where I am. But go to let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon. Have you tried it in Warzone? Do you, is this something you want to use if you're, if you're free to play? And obviously this is going to be harder to unlock if you're free to play because you're going to be leveling up weapons so slowly but again this is something you could even you could get just by being free to play but one of our buddies doesn't have it the right attachment to this unlock so we'll just pick up at a loadout drop we'll just drop one of these in our other additional loadouts and he'll be able to pick it up and and run with this thing and he loves it and just having three members on a squad to use this is is extremely efficient we're able to down people like i said very quick so let me know what you guys think of the gameplay below if you're planning on using this also we have season three upcoming so i'll be covering that this week as that's coming out a couple new operators new weapons it's gonna be a lot of fun to jump on that see what changes we have to warzone and what other conversions we can do with the weapons that are being released. So go ahead and let me know down below. And I'm going to leave you guys with the gameplay. Again, this is the Knight's Armor SR-25 build that I believe is hands down the best weapon to use in Warzone if you're using it properly. But until next time, Buffer Gaming, out. I'm going to hide in this corner. You guys go outside. I can secure our position for a minute. There I, have there the I downed him. I downed him. He's right above you. Get him, get him, get him. He's almost dead. Got him. Okay. I'm down, I'm down. This guy shot me. 28. 28 degrees. Five people left. It's 3v2. Oh, there they are. I'll see him. I'm no. coming up. Uh, fuck it. God damn it, good luck. No! God damn it. They're really hurt. They're really hurt. You got this. You got this. I. Oh Dude, I wish you had self revive right now. I know. This would be game changer. Doug, you got this. He's coming to me. Alright, hear him. Great. Yes! Did you get it? Yes! yes! Dude, I'm real, baby! Oh my god, kids can't be stopped today. Dude, we have this down to a pants. Uh, only fi- Oh, guys. Yeah. I need to like this fast and glory for a minute. Yeah, that's us. It's the first time I've gotten two wins in a row. Two jobs in a row.